hello guys our today's topic of discussion is stream trap uh, one of oh, my friend uh, got this question from surveyor in muol examination so what is stream trap definition of stream trap is stream trap is a type of automatic wall that filters out condensate that is condensed steam and non condensable gases such as air without letting steam escape so why it is necessary to install stream traps if condensate condensate is not drained immediately or trapped from the system it reduces operating efficiency by slowing the heat transfer process and causes physical damage through the phenomena known as water ham so what is the function of stream tap the job of stream tap is to get the condensate air and co2 out of the system heated and treat it as fast as accumulates in addition for overall efficiency and economy the trap must also have following design and operating considerations that is minimum steam loss long life and dependable service corrosion resistance and air venting there are generally three types of steam taps one is mechanical thermostatic and thermodynamic mechanical steam tap operate by using different difference in density between steam and condensate a float within the trap detects the variance in weight between a gas and a liquid second one is thermostatic a trap detects the variation in temperature between steam and condensate at the same pressure the sensing device operates the wall in response to change in a condensate temperature and a pressure third type is a thermodynamic traps it uses volumetric and pressure difference that occurs when water changes state uh, into gas these changes act upon the wall directly so we will discuss this in details first one is a mechanical steam trap mechanical steam trap has a two type one is ball float steam trap and second one is inverted bucket steam trap so first we will discuss ball float steam trap condensate reaching the trap will occur will cause the ball float to rise lifting the wall off its seat and releasing the condensate the wall is always flooded and neither steam nor air will pass through it air vent allows the initial air to pass while is the trap is also handling condensate so you can see this diagram here of ball float steam trap so second one in mechanical steam trap is inverted bucket steam trap if the mechanism consists of an inverted bucket which is attached by a lever to a wall the method of operating is shown in figure you can see three figures here first one is the bucket hangs down pulling the wall off its seats second one is the arrival of steam causes the bucket to become buoyant then it rises and shuts the outlet the third point is the trap remains shut until the steam in the bucket has condensed or bubbled through the wet hole to the top of the trap body so you can see these three figures here our second major type is thermostatic steam trap it also has a two types one is a liquid expansion steam trap and b is a balanced pressure steam trap so we will discuss first liquid expansion steam trap liquid expansion steam trap is an oil filled element expand when heated to a closed wall against the seal the adjustment shows the temperature of trap discharge to be altered between 60 to 60 degrees celsius to 168 degrees celsius this makes it ideally suited as a device to get rid of a large quantities of air and cooled condensate at startup you can see the diagram second uh, second type is balanced pressure steam trap the operating element is a capsule containing a special liquid and water mixture with a boiling point below the water second one point is in this cold condition that exists at a start up the capsule is relaxed the wall is off its seat and it's wide open allowing unrestricted removal of air this is a feature of all balanced pressure traps and explains why they are all well suited to air venting the vapor pressure within the capsule causes it to expand and wall shuts so you can see the diagram here of a balanced pressure steam trap Our last major type is thermodynamic steam trap. It has three three major uh, three types: disc trap, impulsive trap, and orifice trap. So we will discuss, we'll discuss this thermodynamic steam trap. A trap operates by means of dynamic effect of a flash steam as it is passes through the trap. 
On startup, incoming pressure rises the disc and cool condensate plus air is immediately discharged from the inner ring under the disc. Hot condensate flowing through the inlet passage into the chamber under the disc drops in a pressure and releases flash steam moving at a high velocity. This high velocity creates a low pressure area under the disc, drawing it towards its seal. The flash steam provides builds up inside the chamber above the disc, forcing it down against the incoming condensate until it sits on the inner and outer rings. So you can see the four diagrams here. Second type in thermodynamic steam trap is impulse steam trap. Impulse steam trap figure is shown in below. You can see the figure and the naming is given here A, B, C, D. Hello piston A with a piston disc P working inside a trapped piston that is C which acts as a guide. At startup the main wall D reacts uh, rest on the seat E leaving a passage of flow through the clearance between piston and the cylinder and hole F at the top of the piston. Increasing flow of air and condensate will act on the piston disc and lift the main wall of its seat to give the condensate in increased flow. Some condensate will also flow through the gap between the piston and disc through E and always uh, and away from away to the trap outlet in impulse type impulse type trap. Now, second point is as it as the temperature of condensate approaches its boiling point some of its flashes through the steam as it passes through the gap. Although this is a blade away through hole F, it does create an intermediate pressure over the piston, which effectively uh, position the main wall to meet the load. When the temperature of the condensate enters the trap uh, drops slightly, condensate enters chamber B without flashing the steam. Our third part or third type in uh, thermodynamic steam trap is orifice steam trap. These are, these are devices containing a hole of predetermined diameter to allow a calculated amount of condensate to flow under specific pressure conditions. They don't have any moving parts. In case of a small orifice, the condensate flows with much lower velocity through the opening. In a case of a small orifice, the condensate flow with a much low velocity through the opening. The much denser condensate will stop the steam. The, con the consequence of this is no fresh steam will leak through the tap. So you can see in this diagram. So that's all guys for our today's topic. Thank you very much. Please like and share my video with your friends who are preparing for MEO class for examination. Please subscribe my channel. This is small effort from my side to help the guys who are preparing for MEO class for examination. Thank you. This video is for educational purpose only.